Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have another really highly requested video. This one has been so highly requested over the past couple of months. It's just been building and building and now every time I post an Instagram of a bag, someone's like, please do a bag collection. So that is what we are doing today. I don't have the biggest bag collection. I basically have got to the point, I think I've said this before, where I'm on a one in, one out system now, unless there's something that is really very special. So I will kind of sell pieces to have new pieces, if that makes sense. And also if designer bags are your thing you just shouldn't be watching this video like these videos always get so much hate and I'm just like why do you why did you click on this why did you watch this so yeah that's just my little thought ahead of time for anyone that is uh already typing something out but anyway yeah let's get started I'm gonna start with the oldest and the oldest one is definitely not my favorite um but it was a very sensible purchase in some respects not necessarily in the material I chose but this is the Aspinall Marlebone light tote and this is in the new buck navy leather which when i first got it it was the most gorgeous bag on earth but it's it has worn so badly and i've said this in a video before and um i actually got an email from i think it was the ceo of aspinall explaining that this bag actually was discontinued because they realized that the leather was just not holding up and it was discontinued very quickly which i think when i was looking to buy this bag was why it was quite hard for me to find like the sale assistants would even pretend that that bag did not exist and i couldn't understand why it has not held up well but it was in its day it was beautiful and it is the best traveling airport bag i still use this all the time for when i get on planes because you can fit so much in it and i used to take it for overnight stays in london as well because you could just fit like a, a whole day's worth of stuff in this bag and you wouldn't need to take a suitcase we had some good times but i think this will definitely be passed on i probably won't even sell this one i will just give it to someone um in my family or friend group who wants it because um i want to see it go to a nice home but whilst i'm still traveling a little bit for the rest of the year i'll probably get some more use out of this because it is a really handy bag it's just absolutely ginormous and it's not like super 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 expensive it's still very expensive but uh, it wasn't kind of at the price point that some of my other bags were so it was a good like entry level designer purchase for me so that was my first bag purchase and the next one is one that i think a lot of you will have seen in the past year i've owned this for um over a year now i think it is um, i got it in september last year and it's still one of my all-time favorite bags it's still looking pretty good for the amount of wear that it's got the only wear that i really have on this one is the handle and this is the Givenchy antigona i love this bag and the color choice at the time i was like toying between black and pebble and also pink um, but i'm so so glad i went for this color i just think that it goes with so much in my wardrobe like a year on it's still working really well with everything in my wardrobe and it's really super spacious so you can fit a lot on the inside i can fit a mini like the smallest macbook in this it's a bit of a squeeze um but you can the only thing i would say with this bag is it's really hard to get stuff in and out because it is kind of that sports luxe vibe and you don't have a lot of space to stick your hand in over the top it has worn really well like i said aside from the handles i have a bit of wear here now oh and i forgot to say but this and the aspinall bags um, neither of them had press discounts however the Givenchy bag was partly paid for by my boyfriend as a birthday present last year which was why it was in my what I got for my birthday video so the next bag is my Chanel boy bag this is the small one with the light gold hardware so it is a little bit more uh, rare than the standard gunmetal or antique gold colours and um, this is one that I do get a lot of daily use out of like I will wear it for daily I'm not one of those people that keeps bags for like special occasions um, I'm just a bit like each to their own if that's what you want to do then fine but for me I just I want to get all of the wear out of this because this was my most expensive bag that I've ever bought and it was one of those ones that I just felt like I was always going to be buying small bags that were similar to this in hopes of falling in love with those and then not needing this. But I think at the end of the day, if you want a Chanel, then you're always going to want that. So I was like, why wait to buy the dream bag? So that's what I did. I was in Paris, uh, which actually made this a little bit cheaper. I think they're leveling out the prices now uh, between the UK and um, Europe because there used to be a bit of a price jump but they're currently leveling that out which is a bit of a pain so I bought this one from the Rue Cambon store I will link my unboxing for this below if you want to go and watch it lots of people say I was shaking with excitement I think I just hadn't eaten in a very long time and I was just trying to film a video but it was a very exciting time but yeah this is a much smaller bag it's one of my smaller ones I can fit 
If I carry my phone, I can fit my vlogging camera, purse, keys, lipstick, a cream egg. I've done a what's in my bag for this, so you can see the kind of things that fit in it. Um, so I'll link that below as well if you want to go and watch it. Um, but this is actually a bag that I thought I might have some regrets over because of the um, smooth leather. But actually it has worn so well. I know a lot of people have like scratching um, and scuffs around the corners, which I don't have. It's held up beautifully. It does need a little bit of a clean. I really do like to try and keep these in good condition. So yeah, I love this one. It is much smaller, so it's not perfect for every day. But if I'm not carrying a lot around, I do love this. And I feel like it really brings an outfit to life. So I can be wearing like just really basic um, inexpensive pieces. And this just makes it look a lot more luxe. So um, I like that it does that for an outfit. And I just love the black and gold combination and I love the fact that it's light gold because um, it's kind of like a nice mix between silver and the very yellow gold that Chanel do so that was kind of a lot more me. So yeah that was my third bag purchase I think I bought that in February yeah it was February very early February I think or end of January and that was paid for with my own money because Chanel just don't hand out bags. So I actually forgot one. This is one that I was gifted around, I think it was Christmas time. I think this arrived on Christmas Eve um, because I remember coming home and there was just this box sitting on my doorstep, um, which is crazy. Uh, but this was a Christmas present from Victor and Rolf and it is just a gorgeous little pink bag and it's so cute. And this bag is just a really lovely everyday one. I love the nude pinky colour of it. It's really beautiful. It's got a lovely light gold hardware and someone's actually said to me before this really made me laugh I put this on my Instagram and someone said that the um handles on it remind them of loo roll holders um which just made my day um but I really like this bag I think that it's beautiful I love the little bar detailing on it and the pink color is just the perfect nude pink color um so yeah that was a complete like gift from Victor and Rolf and I love it so much I don't get as much wear out of it as I should I really should start wearing this more because I do like this bag a lot that was a lovely one and it was just a really sentimental piece because that's the first bag that I've ever been gifted and then we have a kind of the timeline gets a bit skewed because I can't remember what way around I bought these but I have another bag purchase which um this is from Sophie Holm and it has a very yellow kind of gold hardware on it and a peach um leathery material I've spoken about this one in a few videos this is probably my most disappointing bag purchase but this marks so easily there's a lot of marks I can't get off with rubbers so I'm just very disappointed with this one I've said it before um it's not like the top scale of luxury bags Sophie Home is very much kind of like an entry level brand and I use this just for kind of like throwing on but because I have the Victor and Rolf bag as well I just feel like it's they're too similar they're too similar bags and too similar colors to have in my collection so I don't really see this one kind of being in my collection forever and it's just very very basic on the inside it's kind of just like there's a receipt in there so it's just not my favorite fortunately I did have a small gift voucher uh, for Netta Porter which I put towards this so I got a little bit of money off but yeah it's not my fave. Okay so the next bag I love comes in its little red duster bag. I just love the Valentino duster bags they're so cute. So this is the I can't remember what the green colour of this is called I think it's like spring green um, Valentino mini rock stub bag and this is a beautiful little bag. It is very small and you can't fit tons of stuff in it um, so for me it's very similar to my Chanel boy bag in terms of the sizing and what you can fit in it I actually think you can fit slightly less in this one so it kind of opens up like that it's definitely smaller in the length of it it needs a little bit of a clean but it is such a cute little bag um, I love the color I feel like the combination of the light gold and green goes really well together I don't see this working with a lot of the other Valentino bags um, aside from there's a grey one which I think is in their winter collection which I really like. The one thing I don't really like is how the um, material crinkles. I don't know if you can see this when you open it up which of course it's going to happen because of the way the bag is kind of built but um, that's just one of the things that I feel like just never feels perfect. I don't think my Chanel bag ever does that so because it's not, I think it's because it's not got the quilted stitching it kind of just bubbles and that's one thing that I don't really love about it. It is a very cute bag. I love the chain detail on it because it's like a triple quadruple 
chain it's just so intricate and really really beautiful I do love this bag I feel like it is one of those ones that won't be in my collection forever but I have really enjoyed wearing it over the summer it went with so many different outfits like I have lots of dresses that were like different pink tones and blacks it had like pink black yellow and little bits of green in it and this kind of color bag just went perfectly with those kind of little dresses and stuff like that all my little summer dresses so that is my Valentino rock style and I got that from Louisa via Roma and I did have a small press discount for that so the next bag you will have seen very recently in a what's in my bag video this is my Balenciaga city in the suede color this was a bit of a treat to myself over the summer I was actually going to make this purchase more in October time but I found myself more and more needing a bag that could fit my mini macbook in and my Givenchy Antigona was just a bit of a struggle and I had my Topshop bag which was kind of filling the gap but it just felt very very bulky to wear it's like a big square and it's quite heavy whereas this is a lot lighter um and it's just like it just suits my style a lot better and I had loved this for a really long time and I was planning on making this purchase in October I just made the leap and purchased this in I think it was August or July I can't remember exactly when I bought this and I can't even go back on social media because I know that I didn't post it for a really really long time but I purchased this from Netta Porter I think they still have the mini version of this on the website but I don't think they have this one but I will try and find something similar or link it somewhere else if I can uh, but this is just one of those purchases that I've wanted for such a long time it's such a classic bag this I just absolutely love there are no regrets even though I got it in suede which was so impractical and sometimes if it's a rainy day I will avoid taking this bag out because I get it scared so that was my favorite summer purchase and then I made Made another little purchase I think at the end of September this was a bit of a pre-birthday treat and I had a voucher from Louisa via Roma and it was a nice little treat to myself I've been thinking about getting this for such a long time I'd had the what is it the forever 21 version of the Chloe bag and I loved it so so much and used it a lot um not last summer the summer before and I'd always wanted one of these but I didn't want them to be one of those bags that suddenly everyone wasn't wearing anymore and I feel like these have kind of had a moment but they're also sticking around and they're just such a beautiful shape of bag and the size of them is really good as well I think this is the small one and the medium is quite large I think maybe I'm getting confused but it can fit a lot in it so this is one of the two bags I use every day at the moment so it's not in its duster bag so as you can see it's got quite a lot of space on the inside and I like the fact that the material is quite stretch not stretchy but it's quite loose and it's quite easy to open up my one gripe with bags is when you can't really get in them and it's a bit of a struggle uh, my one thing is that it is kind of impractical with this whole little lock system um, when you're trying to one-handedly open your bag and reach in and get something it can be quite frustrating but um, I got it in this kind of it's like a leathery material on the top and then a suede underneath on the front and it just is completely leather on the back and I feel like it will definitely be one of those bags that stays in my collection because it's just such a pleasure to wear I love it it makes me so happy to look at I know some people are going to be like how superficial is that bags make her happy but this channel really doesn't get any deeper than shopping <laughs> and the occasional rant so um yeah so that is it for my bag collection I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing this finally I feel like it's been so highly requested recently um I hope you also enjoyed the kind of honest feedback on which ones I plan on keeping and which ones just weren't right for me um let me know if you would like to see updated versions as I kind of sell pieces on or swap pieces in and out or get pieces away because um, I feel like over the next year a lot might change so I could do a yearly one of these for you guys if that is something you would be interested in so definitely let me know but I hope you're all having the best day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!